Hey guys, Tom here and welcome back to another video on the Racing Joker channel. We return to more gaming, but not just any game, Forza Horizon 4. I haven't played Forza Horizon 4 in a long time. I believe the last time I did a Forza Horizon 4 video was when I did the Goliath 50 lap challenge. And I needed a break after playing that because, well, the first attempt I did at doing that, I got 40 laps into the challenge and then my computer crashed. And then I did it a second time and finished it, got a whole bunch of rewards, and then decided I needed a, a break from Forza. But we're back because Toyota is coming back to gaming. And not just any Toyota, the Toyota Supra. You all know that. You've read the title. You've seen the thumbnail. I thought it'd be pretty cool to log back into Forza Horizon 4 and get the Toyota Supra if this doesn't crash. I had to restart my computer to get this to work for whatever reason. Hello? Come on, Forza. Uh, so while we wait for the game to possibly open, I've got Brian's Toyota Supra here. I got, it's it's the holidays. I thought, decided to uh, treat myself with some new decorations of my desk, which you guys can't see. We've got Brian's Supra. If you can't see it, I'll give you guys a picture. And I've also got, of course, you can't not have it, Brian's Skyline. So, Craig, if you're watching, I've got your cars in miniature form. They've actually got quite a few details correct, which is pretty cool. Like on the inside of the R34, you've got a lot of the details on the dash, the little... You've got the nitrous bottles in the, in the left seat. Okay, the game is running. Playground games. Can I skip this? It would appear I cannot. I thought it... So I, I apologize for the... game is being really screwy. I apologize for the hiatus and lack of content for the past six days. I've been busy with finals and final assignments and stuff, and I've just started to really get done with everything. I only have a couple small things, but I thought I'd take a break and make a video. Why are you doing this to me? So yeah, I, I did finals early this week. I've got a couple small assignments I have to do. I've got plenty of time, but I thought I'd take a break. Do the Toyota Supra today. So, we're back with more content. Need for Speed Heat will be coming back also very soon, but this, I thought, would be really easy to do. Jeez. But, yeah. All done. Happy holidays. Um, school, exams, life. Kill me. Hoping to, ho hoping to cheer myself up and do some positive things to play this game. Because, oh boy, it's been... It's been busy these last few days, and I've, I've missed making content. I wanted to, but I know I just, I couldn't multitask. I couldn't make videos while also doing school stuff um, in the last, la these last few days. So, that's how it is. But during the holidays, I will be spamming videos. It will be maximum quality, because I won't have anything to distract me, except maybe Heather. But that's fine. It's fine. She understands, I think. <laughs> she doesn't have much of a choice. <laughs> I've actually got a few new things planned for December, and I'm hoping you guys will let me, will allow me to experiment with the channel. I'm gonna let December, just December, be an experimental month in terms of content, because all it's all about cars and car video games and stuff. We're gonna see what happens if when I branch out, and if it doesn't work, I won't do it again. But if it does work, we can make it like a winter holiday tradition where every every year th throughout December, hardware changes were detected. I didn't make any hardware changes. You are full of shit. I mean, is VSync on? Well, we'll see what we'll see what the FPS is. Continue. Let's get that Toyota Supra and see. Is it still recording? Please tell me it's still recording. Yes, it's still recording. Okay. No more interruptions. Airplane mode. <laughs> oh, my camera died. Oh, maybe I turned it off. I turned it off to save the battery. Okay, sound sync again. All right, and continue. Horizon Holiday Party 2019. That's a. Is the eliminator. That was a lucky ass chicken. Use your horn to challenge players to head-to-head -head races. First to the destination wins. The loser is eliminated. If you win, choose to upgrade your car or steal theirs. Search the 
world to find hidden card rooms. But get caught outside the arena and you'll be eliminated. Oh, the Supra. And you'll secure a spot in the final showdown. Win, oh. and you'll enter the Illuminati. The Illuminati? Wouldn't make a bad video game, actually. The Illuminati. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Spring season Diablo GTR. I didn't know that was in the game. That sounds amazing. Okay. Uh. Welcome back, Tom. Thank you. So here we are, we're back in. Seven car mastery points have been refunded. New cars have been added to your garage. Okay. Uh, we want to go to... How do I play this game again? I want to, I want to go to the auto show? Maybe to buy a car, can I buy it here? Oh, I can buy it here. Toyota Supra. Oh, I have nine million. I was worried I wasn't gonna be able to afford it. Well, I mean, that's the least surprising livery I've ever seen on a Supra, ever. It's an interesting profile picture. <laughs> I don't know which of these is the most accurate off the top of my head. These might all just be the same. No. Because I want the hood. Or is the hood already available in the game? Well, let's buy it and we'll see. We'll customize it. We'll customize the Supra. And have a closer look. Let's see how it drives as well. Just in stock form. One of the other reasons why I kind of stopped playing this game, you know, also after being frustrated with the Goliath challenge, is that I just got sick of rear wheel drive being just useless in this game. Is the resolution just terrible or something? Why is it, why did things look fuzzy? Tonight, the Stig drives some very fast farm equipment, I hail a taxi, and finishing with something that I'm reliably informed is a bit of a fan favorite around here. I've got another opportunity for you. How would you like to work with Alex on the festival upgrade service? Shut up! It'll be fun, trust me. I passed on your details to someone called Hans Liebold. He's the guy the insurance company sends to test anything related to cars, and Hans takes his job very seriously. Hans Liebold. You'll love it. Let me out. Go away. Come on. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Why can't I drive? Why is the left trigger the accelerator? What? All the controls are wrong. What the hell is going on? Forza Horizon 4, are you on drugs? Jeez. This game is the worst. I'm already sick of this game and I haven't even started playing it yet. What is this stupid system? Okay, is this my custom setup? Shift up, shift down. Okay, this is this is it. There we go. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Okay. Yards. Oh, shut up, GPS. I didn't realize I turned you on. All right, here we go. We are driving the Toyota Supra. That was a bit of a faff to get started, but we're here in the legendary 2JZ powered Supra. It's not massively fast. Have to get used to the handling model of this game again. Excuse me, tiny Mini Cooper. Handling model is a bit uh, annoying in this game. In, in high horsepower rear wheel drive cars, but thankfully this is low horsepower for now. This is just a, a basic straight. It doesn't sound... It doesn't sound amazing. I'll be perfectly honest. I mean, it looks great. Okay. I forgot what the uh, handbrake was in this game. Let's customize this car and we'll make it not max horsepower, but we'll bring it to maybe about 600 or so. I mean, <coughs> how much horsepower did Brian Supra have? Maybe I should look that up and kind of build it. Ow. Build it like that. Not make it. A thousand horsepower, but just make it reasonable. How do I get in? I don't, I don't, I don't care. Go away. Come on, game. <laughs> this game is driving me nuts. It's been annoying to get started, and it's been annoying to, like, play without any hiccups. Okay. Let's do design and paints. 
can't remember how to play this game at all. How do I put on body kits again? Upgrades and tuning, custom upgrade. Here we go. Let's take a look at the visual modifications. Oh. Oh, okay. This is, um... I'm a fan of this. Oh, well, that's nice. That's really nice. I think we'll go with the, uh, the Bomex. What kind of wings do we got? We got a Sea West wing. That looks a bit... A bit hideous. Uh, we've got... Few others don't look fantastic. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I think, ladies and gentlemen, we have found the wing we are going to be going with on this car. That's the standard Forza wing. It's okay, but I, I'm sick of it. No wing. Some people really prefer that. I don't like Supras without wings. Either put the TRD wing, the stock wing, or something like this on, or get out of here. Oh, this is so good. We're just gonna go full Bomex. Okay, we'll stick with the stock hood and just have those stickers on there. This looks very, very nice. I am a fan. We're not gonna be engine swapping this car. Alright, let's look up the specs real quick of Brian's Supra. I believe... It's a little under 500 horsepower. I don't think it even has 500 horsepower, if I remember correctly. It wasn't a massively fast car, but it wasn't It wasn't really meant to be. It was meant to be cool, is what it was meant to be. While, while that loads, uh, let's put on some good wheels. What wheels have we got? We got some BBSs. Those, those, those always suit cars like this. Okay, what have we got in terms of horsepower? We've got... Oh, I was wrong. 544 to 569. So, I didn't remember that correctly, but I don't mind being wrong about that. I don't mind under underestimating cars and then finding out later that they're faster. That's always fun. It's always a nice surprise. Got the RPF ones. I don't really know what to go with on this car. I mean, we could always go with the Volk T37s. That's in the game, right? You guys are probably like, this is probably the cringiest. This is probably the cringiest Forza Horizon 4 video you guys have ever seen. <laughs> so let, let's do... Let's make the tires really wide. And let's give them the race tire compound. Can't imagine they had amazing tires uh, in, in real life on, the, on this car. But uh, we're aiming for about 500 or so horsepower. It's not really telling me where, we, where we're sitting. How, how are we doing? Okay, so I can check the horsepower by going to there. So we're aiming for 550, basically. Somewhere around there. We'll also do the brakes and the suspension and stuff, just so it can support all the power. It looks nice. We're not going to put in a roll cage, uh, because I doubt you can put... Well, eh, actually, maybe the roll cage doesn't look, look terrible. I'll, I'll, I'll do the roll cage. I don't know what it really does, though, for this car. Um, drivetrain? Clutch? Probably didn't have a very good clutch, but... You probably didn't have, like, a dual clutch or anything. <laughs> as this game might suggest by, by the time I'm done. Um, so if I up the power, how much does that leave me with after that one turbo upgrade? 524. So we want basically 25 more, just about. Let's see what upgrades we can do to get that. Um, did, it, did we do the exhaust already? Yeah, we did the exhaust. That's 20 horsepower. We'll do 13 with that and upgrade the cams. Oh, that's a, that's a lot of power from the cams. Valves? 10 horsepower from the valves. And we don't really want to up the displacement. Okay. 547 horsepower just at the bottom end of the range of the real car from the Fast and the Furious. Let's see how this baby drives. All right, here we go. It looks really good. Um, let's hope I don't crash horribly. I don't remember anything about the map or where the turns are, but I'll do my best. 
Uh, here's that drift sec section I absolutely despise. Because of this, and because I suck at drifting in this game. Shifting is really fast now. Excuse me. Ooh. Oh. Sorry, I destroyed your fence. Trying to drive this rear-wheel drive car reasonably. That's my main issue with this game, is that a lot of my favorite cars are rear-wheel drive, and they just, they can't compete with the all-wheel drive cars, because you just get so much tire spinning, and it's so hard to accelerate. Woo! Woohoo! Uh, in free roam, it's fine, because who cares? But in a race, you just can't be, you can't be competitive. Thread the needle. Woo! So, well, I think what we'll do, we'll try and race this. I don't know what race to do, necessarily. Is this a, should we do a night race? Is this a night race? I can't remember which things are which. Which ones are the night races? <laughs> I don't know. This is a night race. Uh, can I quick travel? How do, what, uh, I need to be able to quick travel to a house, don't I? Fast travel for zero credits. Let's do it. Time spent in first place, 31 hours. You can tell I've been doing a little bit of grinding. <laughs> After this race, we'll also open, like, the lottery things. I can't remember what they're called. What are they called? They're called... Wheel spins. I have many wheel spins to uh, go through. Um, so we'll do that after we test this car in a race. It does actually look so good. I'm so glad Toyota's back in video games, guys. I'm... I, I'm not massive. I don't. I don't care about it being in Forza so much because I'd rather see it Need for Speed. Because, well, you know, I'm me. I'm not a massive simulator game fan, but I can maybe get into it again. I just. I just prefer Need for Speed and cops and street racing themes and all that. But this is so good. <laughs> this, look at this. It, this is actually gorgeous. And and this is coming from. A R34 fanboy. Um, I actually used to be a super fanboy before, until I discovered the R34. Um, I think when I was probably like six, seven, eight, around that. And then around the same time, I then discovered. I think it was about six, because then at like seven or eight, I discovered the uh, the R34. Are you okay, Mr. Tractor? Tractor Simulator 2019 needs uh, a little bit of patching. It looks like. Um, Anyways, Toyota Supra, it's back in the game. Uh, let's hope that the executives down in Toyota have regained their sanity and are not going to do something stupid like pull their cars out of video games again because that just made no sense. Because that was up there with Mitsubishi refusing to make sports cars, essentially, and getting rid of the Evo. Um, yeah, Toyota's doing better than Mitsubishi by a million miles. Um, let's hope Mitsubishi is the next to follow to have their to have their ignorance drug smoking executives regain their sanity and sense of reality and realize that they made good cars and now they just don't let's do this 550 or so horsepower i can't remember i think it's 547 i already can't remember what i've done to this car it's gorgeous i hope i don't get immediately creamed but it's incredibly likely that i will I love the detail of whoever did this, this livery. It's great. All right, Supra, make me proud. I'm probably going to wheel spin myself to death. All right, here we go. It wasn't a horrible launch, but it was. Excuse me. Okay, I don't even remember what difficulty I'm playing this at. It might be hard. I can't. I can't remember. Oh. Oh, fence. I'm also having to get used to shifting again in this game. For those of you who only watch my Need for Speed Heat videos, yes, I am capable of playing games in manual mode. I just hated the way it worked in Heat because you couldn't rebind the controls. Come on. Let's pass some of these fools. Ugh. I'm doing a lot better than I thought I would. 
to be perfectly honest. All right, come on. Let's do some overtakes. Sorry, Aston Martin. All right, passing the R35, old versus new. Oh, yeah. We've got a BMW in front of us. It looks like an M4 GTS. It looks quite nice. It doesn't sound particularly nice. The Super doesn't sound that amazing either, to be, I'll be perfectly honest. I don't like the sound they've used. They should have... They should have just used a, uh... Cheeky, cheeky rewind. They should have just used the sound of a single turbo Supra. Every, everyone prefers the sound of the single tur turbo Supra. I mean, come on. Can you really argue with that? The Supra from the Fast and Furious was... Uh, it was a Turbonetics T66, I believe. Single turbo, custom RPS manifold. It sounded out of this world. Oh, that was an awesome overtake with a nice slide. Okay, let's not die. We're at 80% progress. This is actually going pretty well. <laughs> Considering I haven't played this game in months. Okay. Excuse me. I don't even know what difficulty I'm playing at. I did have to do a rewind. If this was online, I would be out for the count. Nice. The Clown of Cars finished first place. Brilliant. Brilliant. What did I get? Did I get any rewards that were worthwhile? Nice Alfa Romeo. That is isn't a good looking M4. Not many rewards. But who cares? So... I don't think I even leveled up, so I didn't get a wheel spin. But let's let's open some wheel spins and just see what we got. But yeah, that's the uh, the Supra. It doesn't sound great, but oh, it looks great. We miss this car in video games, guys. It's 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 a car we we either came to know and love through video games or movies. To not have it in either is just sacrilegious, and I'm glad Toyota came to their senses because this this is this is actually really fun. I hope this body kit is also available for the Supra when it comes back to Need for Speed. And it better come back to Need for Speed, otherwise some people are gonna die. Oh, excuse me, gentlemen. We're off-roading. Oh, heck. We're fine. Oh, that's an off-roading Huracan. DDE. Ahem, <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. Oh, I think that's a GT2. Very nice car, sir. Uh, let's, let's, let's do the, uh, the wheel spins. We'll do the super wheel spins first. What have we got? We got 11 super wheel spins. What are we gonna get? We're gonna get a sweater, some kind of horn, and an Audi RS5. From this, we're getting a hat, really terrible coat, and a blue crown. We're getting a Ford Falcon, a VW Corrado, and $5,000. Mercedes AMG GT, Jaguar F Type, and two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Ford Focus. All right, I think I already have one of those. A Jeep CJ5, Audi RS4, station wagon looking thing. We've got a Ford Mustang seventy one, Chevy Nova that looks like a freaking drag car, and a chainmail T-shirt. Well, that's that's quite bizarre. Get your first Forza Edition car from a wheel spin. I had a Forza Edition car already. It was the Aventador FE, and it's crazy. A Range Rover, gold waistcoat, biker boots. I almost got a Porsche there. Just random garbage clothes. Money, 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 money. AMG GTR. That's not a bad car. I don't know if I'd ever use it, though. Wait a minute. Oh, that was an Aventador. That was an Aventador SV, not a Huracan Performante. Is the Huracan Performante in this game yet? Because it, it really should be. I don't know why it wouldn't be. Okay, we've got 500 spins. $175,000. 99 Porsche 944 Turbo. $30,000. We almost got a Ford Mustang. Some kind of horn. Almost got some kind of Falcon thingy. Legendary biker gloves. Somehow gloves are legendary. Shoes. Audi TT. Whatever that is. Money. Okay, I'm, I'm comment commentating too many of these. Interesting car. Almost got another car. 911 GT3 RS. 
4.0, the 2012 car. Not a bad one. That was a popular car. Voxel Monaro. Volkswagen Scirocco. I hope I said that right. I'm getting a lot of freaking clothes. A Hoonigan car. Golden leggings. I'm glad you can't get clothes like this in freaking Need for Speed. I've unlocked a hundred clothing items, apparently. Land Cruiser Arctic. Jeez. Am I gonna get, like, every car in the game? A thousand dollars. Cadillac. See me whip. Get the fuck out of here. Honda Civic Type R, but not the one you'd want. Alfa Romeo 4C, a gorgeous car. A Vulcan Forza Edition. Ho! Oh, Aston Martin Vulcan. That? I don't even want to think what you'll be able to do with that thing on the road. A Vulcan Forza Edition. Now that, that actually sounds quite good. I don't think I've done anything with the Vulcan in any video game ever. Jazz hands. <laughs> Making a lot of money off of these. Oh, it's... It's Robin's car. <laughs> Robin's a friend, a friend of mine. You guys don't know him, but he has a C5 in that exact color. Another Falcon thingy. Classic running man. <laughs> Can I just auto-claim all of these, please? Why did I let it get to so many? Remember how at the beginning of the recording I said I wanted to die? Yep, I... That feeling isn't gone. <laughs> Ooh, a Celine S7. Okay. Got a lot of cars. A Maserati MC12. Damn. I'm collecting so many cars and so much money. Another Civic Type R. That did not look nice at all. Money! Money, 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 money. There's a 918 Spider there. 2009 M5. Deluxe five window coupe. An old Ford. Damn. I don't know what I could use that for. <laughs> Heck, there are so many things here. Oh my god. I think I've gained like three or four million dollars just from all of this nonsense. Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Lamborghini Diablo SV, Bugatti EB110, the EB110, old 90, 1965 Ford Mustang. I almost got a GT2 RS, the 2012, the one I actually like. An Abarth Spider, a Javelin. I'm never letting my wheel spins get this high ever again. I've given up on using the controller to skip through all this. Old Jaguar, BMW SUV. AMG Black Series, that's pretty nice. BMW Z4. A Ford Bronco. <laughs> We're not even halfway. Jeez Louise. I'm gonna have a lot of money though. I'm just getting a bunch of money now. He doesn't want me to give me anything else. Chevy Bel Air, not bad. More money. Good lord. Only in this game do you complain about getting free money. Because it's all you ever freaking get. My thumb hurts. When am I going to run out of things to unlock? An old Land Rover? Meh. Money. Some terrible jacket. Some terrible pants. A terrible hat. A Golf GTI. What was that? I might have just equipped the Golf GTI. RX-8! $200,000. This video is going to be longer than it should be because of this. RX-7. Add to garage. Oh, that's what it was asking me to do. Because I probably already have one. Was the Golf GTI something I also already had as well? My camera's gonna die before this is over. <laughs> oh, there's the Ford Anglia. Wah, wah, wah. You know what? I'm done. I give up. I'm, I'm getting sick of that shit. Car collector. Let's drive the Super some more. Holy. Super wheel spin, are you kidding me? I unlocked more super wheel spins, and I got some money. Oh. Okay, so at low horsepower, this isn't impossible to drive. It doesn't it doesn't spin out of control quite as much as I was worried it would. Because I had flashbacks from when I used to play this game with rear-wheel drive cars basically being worthless. But this is... This is quite nice. Quite relaxing, actually. Woo! Excuse me. This is actually quite fun. I'm very pleased with Toyota being back. And I hope you, I hope you guys are too. And I'm hoping this means that they'll add the new Supra and a few other old cars. 
and I'm fairly certain this means that um, Lexus will be making a return. And I'm sure many of other people have said this, but I'm looking forward to the LFA returning because I miss that 4.8 liter V10. It's one of the best sounding cars in the world. It's the only car I can think of that rivals the sound of the Murcielago V12. It might, it might even be better. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Excuse me, Mr. Huracan. Oh, I'm sorry. Horizon Story Discovered Upgrade Heroes. What does that mean? Can I... Oh, the interior! I completely... Oh, this is right-hand drive. I wonder if this is a JDM spec or a UK spec Supra. I can't see anything. I will say, the R34 interior is cool, but this is like a fighter jet. I like the gauges. I like how things like the air conditioning and all, air conditioning and all that are like kind of pointed towards the driver. It feels like a fighter jet. It, it's 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 unique. The R34 is obviously unique, but this is this is also quite special too. You cannot deny the awesomeness of the Supra. And this 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 is a feel good car. This car, oh man, how fast can I get this car to go at 547 horsepower? We've got the maxed out tires, the best drivetrain and all that. Can we hit 200? Oh, we might be able to. 198? 199? 200! And then I hit something. I like... I always think it's... F I always think it's funny how cars in this game, when you go, like, inside them, the... like, the physical speedometers of the cars in the game, when you're in the cockpit view, don't usually go up to the speeds that you can get them to go to after you've modified them. Yeah, I would say the sound of this car is a little disappointing. Um, but then again, it is Forza Horizon 4, and some of their sound team seem to uh, have some kind of hearing impairments with a lot of these cars. I'm not going to lie. Whoop, lag spike for some reason. But all in all, the car, what the hell? Looks great, actually drives pretty good. I'm not that disappointed, I'm happy it's back. I'm, I'm mainly just doing this video to celebrate the implications of sup the, the Toyota Supra being added to this game, because it, it means that Toyota is coming back to gaming, and that's, that's awesome. Without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching uh, this Forza Horizon 4 video. I don't know if I'll play more of this game. If you want me to, I can. If you want me to do the Eliminator game mode, that's fine. But I'm going to go back to focusing on Need for Speed Heat. And I've also got a little bit of experimenting I want to try doing for this month of December by doing some things that aren't necessarily related to cars. Um, and see how that goes. Um, because, well, the, the whole automotive hobby is very expensive. And if I can help kind of increase the, the channel's income by doing other content and bringing in a much broader audience, um, I should at least try, right? So, thank you guys so much for watching once again. Um, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Um, if you like what you've seen and have also already perused through my channel um, and have liked what you've seen after doing that, then hit the subscribe button if you're a cool person. And um, if you like this video in particular, uh, leave a comment and hit the like button. I'm doing this all out of order, but who cares? You guys probably don't. And uh, yeah, all that good stuff. If you've, been, if you've been a fan of the TRJ channel for a while and want to go the extra mile, you can obviously as I've been saying for the last few weeks. Um, you can go to my Patreon, and you can help support content like this, real-life content where I go to events. You can support uh, the travel costs. You can help fund that, uh, make it a bit less impossible or make it a lot more accessible or feasible. Um, there's also real-life projects like the WRX and the real-life M3 GTR replica. All sorts of cool stuff like that. So if you want to be a part of any of that, get shout-outs, have your name get put on the cars in sticker form. Whatever you think is cool, head over to there. If you just want to help, that's fine too. But whatever you do, whether it's like, comment, subscribe, or do the Patreon, even if you do nothing, really, I just want to say thank you for watching. Hope you have an awesome rest of your day, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy and keep it crazy. Bye for now.